This is a quick video to show what I do if validation errors occur when I upload and validate files via the USPTO online filing system when trying to file a, prov a provisional or non-provisional patent application. I got this solution from a staff member at the USPTO Patent Electronic Business Center, which is a dedicated USPTO department that help with online filing, and I've never received a validation issue since. In other words, this solution I've been given seems to sort out this problem 100%. Basically, in the past, when I filed every now and again, when I got to the upload and validate part of the USPTO online filing process, some of my PDFs and some of the files would not upload correctly. And instead of the USPTO filing system showing nice blue diamonds like this next to each PDF I had uploaded, uh, it would often have a red diamond on one or more of the files and it would tend to say there was an issue with embedded fonts or fonts not embedded. I'm not going to go into what that means, but the solution that I was given is very, very simple and seems to completely solve this. Basically, when it comes to saving my files on my computer, which often start out as Microsoft Word documents, which I then save as PDF in order to file, I just make sure to save them as PDF forward slash A compliant files. I'm about to show me doing this right now, and it's very easy to do. I'll show myself using Microsoft Word to do this, but I'm sure this can be done on any word processing software such as Pages on Mac too. I'd imagine most or all of them have an option to save as a PDF A compliant file. That said, Word can be used on Mac as well, probably on a free trial via the Microsoft website, so this can be used on a Mac as well. So usually, when it comes to saving my file as a PDF in preparation for filing, I would just go to File, Save As, then select PDF from the drop down menu, and click save. That would be that. But in order to save my file as a special PDFA compliant file, I click file, save as, and then I click more options. Then I select PDF on the drop down menu. And then I select the options box. This opens up a new window which has a little section saying PDF options. In this section, I select the box that says PDF underscore forward slash A compliant. Once that's done, I just click OK and click save. That saves me a PDF as PDF A compliant. On my computer, the file has a little header which mentions that the file claims compliance with the PDFA standard. I tend to just leave that as it is. To this date, I've never had any issue with uploading this type of PDF on the USPTO online filing system, and I've never had any issue with them successfully validating on the USPTO system. It seems to solve the non-embedded fonts issue 100%. If you liked this video and want to make sure you file a high quality provisional patent application at the USPTO, be sure to check out the 10 day free trial of iPatent Pending and the whole inventor's journey interface aboard Shine Enterprise. iPatent Pending, full name, I have the power to get patent pending, includes a full provisional patent application template, a video program with me showing me drafting and filing a basic provisional patent application for the super simple invention Spoon, and also includes the amazing USPTO PPA filing video with full narration showing me filing a provisional patent application via the USPTO system. Here's what a couple of inventors had to say and you get access to this absolutely free with an option to continue to have access to this and tons of other programs such as the seven deadly mistakes that inventors make program and the beginner's patent search at time of speaking for only $29.95 per month as well as becoming an official crew member aboard Shine Enterprise and getting access to the elite world-class steps and services of the inventor's journey. If you're watching on YouTube, please subscribe to be notified of more useful videos in the field of inventing, design, and patenting, and check the links below the video for the 10-day free trial 
of the iPatent pending program. Good luck with your invention and filing your patent application.